Good morning. It is 7.08 and I just finished my workout. I did some 45 minutes of some heavy lifting followed by um, a run. So it is time to eat. I'm hungry. So, but first I have to prep all my sweet potatoes for my sweet potato bowls because I went grocery shopping yesterday. Um, so I'm ready. So here's my little workstation. Oof, lots of stuff going on. Um, but here's my sweet potatoes. I typically don't do this many, but since TJ has joined me in eating them, I need some more. So I am going to just chop these up. They're already washed. Um, I do not peel them. No, the skin is good. It's got tons of stuff in there that's good for you. Um, lots of fiber. Got kids playing here next to me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get these chopped up, um, preheat my oven. I have a convection oven, um, and I do convection at 400 for about 20 minutes. So I'll get the oven warmed up, and I'm going to chop my sweet potatoes. Okay, so my oven is preheated to 400 and I've got my sweet potatoes all chopped and this is the most important part. I literally do nothing to my sweet potatoes, but I put them on parchment paper. If you haven't invested in parchment paper, it is the best thing for doing any baking roasting in the oven when you're not coating things in olive oil or oil of any kind. Um, they will not stick. It's fantastic. So I go through a lot of parchment paper. So parchment paper on my big monster cookie sheet. And the sweet potatoes laid out in a single layer. So I'm going to pop those in the oven for about 20 minutes and they're done. All right. Well, I was in the shower. My sweet potatoes were cooking. They look awesome. So I'm gonna get my bowl all prepped and ready right, for you. So I've got four ounces of sweet potatoes and I'm going to now tear my scale. Come on guy, let's go. Oh no, there we go. Um, I'm gonna do six ounces of strawberries and blueberries. That's what I have today. So let's do three ounces strawberries get in there there we go get my blueberries here just my hands you know wash your hands and just dig in all right okay now we want where are you eating here we go we're oh, almost there Lots of awesome veggie. I mean, fruits. Makes me so happy that I get to eat this much fruit in the morning. Okay, there we go. Six ounces. I like to separate it. I think it looks pretty. Six ounces of berries. Now, um, I used to do two ounces of peanut butter and nut combo, which usually was 1.5 ounces of, pe of peanut butter, followed by half an ounce of like crushed almonds or pecans or whatever. But um, I've been decreasing to just one ounce of peanuts a day, peanut butter. So here's my trick. This is awesome peanut butter I get from Aldi. The only ingredients are organic peanuts and sea salt, okay? Um, but it comes separated and you have to mix it like intensely. Once I mix it, I put it in the fridge and it stays mixed, which is awesome. But it is hard to get it to drizzle. It's like a big chunk. Um, so I put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds and you're going to see this amazingness. Just a minute. Okay. So watch this. Ah, isn't that the best? It does awesome going on this bowl and it helps it like really mix in. Um, so that's what I do. I do about 15, 20, depending on how full it is. It's pretty empty right now. So 15 seconds is all it needs. Um, and then you're able to drizzle it over and mix it in. If it's full, it might need 25, 30 seconds. And I do it over and over every day and the peanut butter holds up great. So um, a little trick to see those pretty um, lines and so it's not just a big clump. And if it's a big clump, it's hard to mix in and get that awesome peanut butter flavor on every bite. So I'm gonna put my one ounce 
on top of here. That's my half protein add for exercise. I'm also gonna eat two fried eggs. That's my full protein for the morning. So you'll see the finished product in just a second. There it is, the best breakfast in the world. No, it's not really. I mean, it's my favorite, but um, an amazing sweet potato bowl. Um, and I've done tons of different fruit variations. I always keep frozen fruit in my um, freezer as well. That's great in here. Bananas, um, apples. If you do cooked cinnamon apples, that's an awesome thing in here too. I try not to do it too much because it is, I feel like it could get triggering. Um, but so far I have it like once every couple weeks and it's fantastic. So here's the final project. There's my fried eggs and I added some cinnamon. And oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, yum, yum, yum. What is it doing? That's amazing.